Hey, do you want to make a gingerbread wall hanging? If you do, then just watch this video and follow along. First, you'll pin the pattern piece for the house to some light brown or tan felt. Place it on the fold and cut it out. After you've embroidered the door piece, you'll cut it out and then glue it to the light brown felt house piece. You'll glue it uh, three quarters of an inch up from the bottom edge and one and a half inches in from the sides. After the side trim pieces are embroidered, you'll cut them out also. We'll fold the piece in half. Um, we'll make the seam in the center of the back and we'll sew the two sides together just using a simple whip stitch. After you've sewn the seam down the middle, then you'll sew across the end so that you can stuff the side trim. Stuff the piece and then sew the other opening closed after you've stuffed it. It's time to pin the side trim onto the house and then we'll sew it along the back. Line the edge of the brown felt up with the seam. Now you want to embroider the design for the flowers and then cut them out. We have the flowers cut out and now it's time to glue them onto the house. We have saved one of the flowers, the big pink flower, for later to glue it on the roof. And I'm just using a white craft glue. And uh, the two small flowers go on each side of the door. And the large dark pink flower goes above the door. I'm going to use a ruler and measure up one and three quarter inches to the bottom of the little pink flowers that go beside the door. Okay, I've sewn the windows according to uh, the instructions in the design information and now I'm going to glue them just above the little pink flowers on the sides. It's time for the middle scallop trim. I embroidered them on light green felt, cut them out, and now I'm gluing them to the middle of the house. I glue one on each side. Once the designs for the roof are embroidered, then you'll pin the pattern pieces for the roof to the designs, make sure they're centered, and cut them out. Sew the two pieces for the roof together in the center. Now use this roof piece as a pattern to cut out the back of the roof. Sew the two pieces together along the top edge and the bottom edge. We'll leave the two ends open so that we can stuff this with polyester fiber fill. After you've stuffed it lightly, then sew the openings closed. Now it's time to sew the roof to the house. Now that we have the roof sewn on, we'll glue on the large light pink flower to the top of the roof, right in the center. Next, it's time to glue on the trim that goes right beneath the roof. I've cut the bottom with a scalloped edge and I've cut the top edge straight. If you get a little extra glue going, that's just fine. It'll dry clear. 
After you've sewn the piece on earth design, you'll want to pin the pattern piece to it and cut it out. Cut one from embroidered felt and one from plain white felt. Then pin the pieces together and sew around the outside. Leave one end open for stuffing it. After you've stuffed the bottom piece and sewn the opening closed, then you'll want to sew it to the bottom of the house. Make sure that it's centered before you pin and sew it on. I also sew along the top edge of the snow on the back. And this is to simply hold it tight to the house. Glue the embroidered scroll pieces to each side of the lettering. Sew a small metal ring to the top on the back of the house so that you can hang it. Have fun with this project and don't forget to visit www.goldenneedledesigns.com.